Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. I'm joined here by my good buddy Mike. We're going to be talking about the upcoming WWE Fastlane 2016 show. Mike, how are you doing tonight? I'm uh, doing pretty good. How about yourself? I don't know, man. Honestly, like I was really excited when I booked uh, when I booked this uh, this uh, little Skype session uh, yesterday, planning to talk about these uh, these matches for this upcoming fast lane show. But honestly, when we were talking uh, just uh, just about an hour ago, and I was actually having to write down the matches on a piece of paper, um, I honestly was sort of surprised that this fast lane show looks like it, it's not going to be that good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know the the Royal Rumble card. Other than the Royal Rumble, there were some matches that looked like you know pretty weird at the beginning. But as the show went on, I really liked the Royal Rumble. So I'm uh, I'm gonna go with a uh, with an empty mind into this fast lane show, and I'm gonna see you know how or what they give us, and uh, we'll go from there. I know you like to read the dirt sheets as much as everybody else is out there, but can you remember to maybe two months ago uh, when the word was coming out that WWE was trying to make. Um, WWE's Fast Lane 2016 into an A-list pay-per-view, um, where basically they had sort of realized that uh, you know taking away the Elimination Chamber was a big hole in the uh, Royal Rumble to WrestleMania um, sort of you know card, I guess you can say. <laughs> but um, everybody always looked forward to the Chamber being in February and, and then finding out who the champion was going to be going into WrestleMania or who was going to be the number one contender to go up against the champion. And they didn't want to take anything away from the Royal Rumble. But uh, definitely Fastlane this year, you know, with, um, you know, the, there is... I guess every championship is on the card. They've got a U.S. title match. They've got a Divas title match. They've got uh, the Intercontinental title. Oh, you, you do not have a WWE championship match. I guess that is one thing that is lacking. But um, it just seems like there's no buzz. There's no fizz. There's nothing really to it. Other than Brock Lesnar appearing, there's nothing to really go make you go bananas about on this fast lane card, right? Yeah, I, I agree. I think it's is, is it mostly due to injuries? Um, honestly, I think, I don't know, like you said with the, with the Elimination Chamber, like, the Elimination Chamber used to be where, like, they, like the, the, the champion would still have to go through the chamber to make it to WrestleMania, but the, the person who won the Rumble would always be the one that would automatically have a match at WrestleMania, and now we got this point where the, the person who wins at Royal Rumble and who's champion at the Royal Rumble automatically goes to WrestleMania, so it's kind of like they're skipping over Fastlane, and it just overall makes Fastlane like a, uh, like a s smaller pay-per-view, and it doesn't mean as much because of that. I love the man. I love Triple H. He will always be my, uh, my. I guess you can say, one of my two favorite wrestlers. But the man has the championship in the glass case. He had no thoughts of defending this. Um, last year, uh, I, I don't remember. Who was the champion going into WrestleMania last year? It was Brock Lesnar, right? Yes, it was. So Brock didn't... He didn't fight at Fastlane. It was just that Daniel Bryan versus Roman Reigns match. That was like the number one contender. That was like the YWC's last hope that Daniel yep. Bryan was going to main event WrestleMania 31. Uh, they, they broke all of those fans' dreams that night. They were you know, soaking up tears with t-shirts. Uh, it was a sad day. But um, I think everybody could have seen that that's what they were going to do last year. But uh, I don't know. We'll break this down. We're like, like I said, we've got the U.S. title match. We've got a, we've got two Divas matches. Uh, that, that's pretty out of this world. We've got an Intercontinental. We've got number one contenders. Seeing who's going to be going and facing uh, Triple H at WrestleMania. This looks like uh, that's about it. <laughs> I mean, wowzers. We'll break this down. We'll get into all the matches in the upcoming videos here. So stick around and have a good day.